Welcome to the Meditation Realm Planeswalkers. I'm Caleb, your guide through the Blind Eternities. And in today's video, I'm opening up another one of the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth bundle gift editions. Open it up for the viewer Yuri. We're hoping we're going to get a little lucky for him. See what we can get in the collector pack. Hopefully we can get something sweet. Uh, the set boosters have been surprisingly not very lucky in the list slot as they have been in so many of the other packs. I'm used to there being a pretty redeeming value in set boosters. Uh, I think this might just be a rare hiccup with the set boosters in Lord of the Rings. I have not opened up many uh, set booster boxes in total. I only have opened up one actual set booster box. But I didn't open up much in the list compared to other times I've opened up other sets. So we'll see. See if he can get lucky. Gonna check here, make sure he got his ring and everything else. I know some people have reported not getting everything. We got the Frodo, we got the Sam, we got the Gollum, we got the ring. Alright, he's all set there. And we'll move on to the packs. Hopefully, the luck will be within this tab. We have. Start off with. Can we get him any Nazgul? Those are worth more than half the rares in the set. Alright, we got a rare Sarodok, Master of Buckland, and then we've got another rare Galadriel of Lothlorien, and then we've got a Foil Common, and then an Uncommon in the list slot. Alright, on to the next. The Uncommon has Infects, you know, there's some decks I want to play that. Yep, yeah, let's uh there are some Poison Matter decks, there, especially with the new ones that came out in March of the Machines. A lot of people built those Abzan Commanders. Alright. Ah, it's our Black Uncommons as they come on. Nazgul. Got no Nazgul here. Ooh, a Delighted Halfling. That's a good rare pickup. Seeing a lot of play in multiple formats. Well, Uncommon, nothing special there, but hey, Delighted Halfling, that's a goodie. I have not seen very many of them opened. Uh, Alright. Like, same thing with some other rares. It's like, it's just been surprising what cards have and have not been common to get pulled. Alright, come on. Alright, doesn't look like any Nazgul here, but we've got a Sauron the Necromancer for a rare. And then we've got a Foil Mythic. We've got Palantir of Orthanc. It's a card that's seen a lot of play in Commander. I don't know what uh, other play it's seen, if, if any, in other formats, but it's seen Commander play. Um, I personally really think it just reads try to draw a card every turn if your opponent just lets you draw instead of mill and take the damage. But uh, in most decks, you know, that's not going to be a bad effect. Just try to draw a card for three mana every turn. It's a turn earlier version of Phyrexian Arena that lets you dig deeper and you don't lose life. It's kind of like my mindset. You can play it right away and you're going to draw a card that turn. Um, I think it's an auto-add, if not auto-replace for Phyrexian Arena in a lot of decks. Alright, come on. Some other goodies here. We've got Mary, Esquire of Rohan, and then a Foil Common, and a token. Alright. But, let's see if we can get a second Mythic. Again, the volume of Mythics, too, have not been super high. And I know the pool rate is not, not meant to be very high for Mythics, but even in the collector boosters uh, for these, if not seen very many, a rare Aragorn and then a foil common. Nothing special. All right. Aragorn's going to be a decent card for Commander, uh, I do, uh, you know, especially in themed decks around counters because he spreads them out. But not a valuable rare, that's for sure. It's the pony. Alright. We got Frodo, Sauron's Bane. And then Foil. And then Battle Wand Oak. Alright. Oh, that's a common list card. I mean, a lot of common list cards. Let's see what else we got here. We got a Sandar card here. Is that Faramir? Yeah, Faramir. Some people like those uh, Sand cards. Signed art cards. Alright, let's see. The rare is a Moria Marauder. This is going to be another card that's a pretty decent include to the Goblin decks for Commander. 
lets you be able to get that card advantage. And then, all right, we're down to the last pack. It was upside down, so maybe that's a good sign. It's gonna have double mythic rares. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for you. I'm hoping for you, Yuri. It's got a foil mountain. That's a good start, right? It's a good start. It's got a golem. It's got a lash. It's got a Gandalf. It's got the flames of on the war. Does that mean there's gonna be a ball rock at the end? No, that would have been thematic as hell, though. Damn it. <laughs> All right. We'll see what's in the collector booster. He almost had a mythic moment there. But alas. All right. Man, I tell you, sometimes these collector packs are just a pain. All right, we're hoping for good luck here. Some good mythics. Maybe he can get a serialized card. We've got a one. We've got a two. Card number three. Card number four. Okay. Not a serialized card. But let's hopefully he can get something sweet still. His first card is a mythic. We have Shadow of the Enemy. Pretty sweet card for Commander. Uh, definitely some awesome art. And we've got a rare. we got Shagrit. It's Shagrit. Got a Commander rare. Guahir, greatest of the eagles. There's your eagle tribal commander. We got a Gimli, counter of kills. Ooh, we've got Sword of the Animus. I think this is one of the cheaper uh, cards, but hey, still, it's uh, one of the box toppers in non-foil. It's a mythic. And then we got Bilbo, uncommon. Foil, uncommon. We got a foil scene rare, Lobelia, Sackville Baggins. And then the token. All right, not bad. Uh, he at least got two mythics in his collector booster, and one of them being a uh, box topper. Wasn't foil though, but I have not seen it. it personally opened up any of the rainbow foil rares or mythics that you can open up from these. But maybe there's some better luck in the other collector boosters and just get an actual box. Thank you for joining me, Planeswalkers. Always glad to have you here. Like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you here in the next video.